welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tina Zink and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. And if you're returning, welcome. I have another really adorable card I can't wait to share with you. So the stamp set that I'm going to be creating with today is called the Gangs All Mirror. This is such an adorable stamp set. If you're not in love with it, this video might change your mind. And the inspiration came from a card that I saw online created by Carrie Bunting, who is also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Australia. And I was wowed with her card. And then I started seeing similar cards online. And basically, it's a silhouette against a sunset. And it's just precious. So I can't wait to share this video with you. So let's get stamping. This is the stamp set I'm going to be using today. It's called the Gangs All Mirror. This is um, an exclusive stamp set during our celebration promotion that you can earn for free with a qualifying order. So all the details are listed down below in my description, but it's a really adorable stamp set. Okay, I have my Stampin' Sponge. It looks pink, it's clean, it's just, um, it's just stained. So I'm gonna start with my So Saffron ink pad. I'm just inking that up and my card is going to go landscape, but I'm going to turn it just because it's easier for me to sponge. So I'm just lightly rolling on this color because I don't want my sun to be bright white when I remove the mask. And I'm not worrying about this bottom layer because that's going to be covered later. So always better to go to, with a light hand because you can always add ink, but of course you can't take it away. So I think that's good. Now what I did is I took my largest circle die from our layering circle collections and I cut out a circle from a piece of computer paper and then I put a little bit of our glue behind the back and set it aside to dry and this makes it repositionable. So this was an awesome little trick one of my lovely YouTube viewers shared with me and I've been using it ever since. So there's my circle. Now I'm going back into my Soul Saffron because I'm going to add some color and make it darker. Now I'm going into Calypso Coral using the same sponge. And put some of that on and working my way up to the top. And I'm also just working that color in so that I don't have any straight edge lines. My next color is pumpkin pie. This is going to go on the top. And again, I'm just working it down into the previous colors. Cajun craze. Now my last color is cherry cobbler. Now before I put this on, I'm taking a uh, post-it note and I'm going to tear it in half and I'm just going to position it right there and again without cleaning I'm going right into my cherry cobbler and I'm just going to add a little light line and then after that I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of daffodil delight just to add a little extra brightness with that yellow And working my way up to blend it all in. See, I kind of lost a little bit of the yellow, but you can still see the yellow behind the oranges. It's just on that bottom section, and that's okay. Because we can add some. And I'm 
just rolling, rolling. I haven't re-inked, just blending it all in. And it's so pretty how it works its way up. And I don't know if you can see on the camera. I think you can, but you can definitely see the yellows. Um, might not need Daffodil Delight, but I'm going to add a little bit. But I'm going to use a little stamping sponge for this, just because I don't want to add too much. I just want to add just a little bit. So I'm just going back and forth. And it really does add a nice uh, bit of brightness. Blending it right in. Okay, let's take off the mask. Just the bottom mask. Time for the big reveal. This is always such a fun part. So pretty, so pretty. All right, I already have my stamps on my Stamparatus because I've already been making some of these cards. So I'm just gonna open that up and position it. I think we need to go this way a little bit more. When I, um, when I used these on the last card, this was a little bit bigger. This was five and a half, or sorry, five and a quarter by four. And I've cut this down a little bit because I want to mat this one on some white. But we can still get them in there. So I'm going to slap my magnet down. Okay. So I'm inking these up with my black memento ink. And then stamping them down. Oh my gosh, so cute. And I'm gonna rank that. I almost hate to cover up their cute little faces, but the silhouette is going to look so cool on this. So I'm just gonna put this piece down and I'm going to sponge on some brown for the ground. So I'm going to use Early Espresso for that. You know what? I'm going to use my, my sponge brayer for this. And again, I'm not even going to clean this because I'm going into a darker color. Okay, now that I have some brown on there, I'm going to go on with some of my Black Memento. And I'm doing the two colors because I didn't want to use just black because I want to make sure when I color these in with my marker that their little legs and feet will kind of still show. All right, and there's a little bit that I missed right there, so I'm just going to move my mask and fill that in. I'm just going to use the black for this bit. kind of adds a different shadow for the land. Pretty cool. Time to color them in. So now I'm just taking my basic black marker and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them in completely. So cute all of them looking at the sun. Okay so now I'm just taking a piece of ribbon and I'm going to trim it and adhere that. I'm just going to put the adhesive right on the ribbon itself. And I'm going to put this on a piece of Whisper White and this measures five and a quarter by four. Tie a knot. I'm just using glue dots 
to position this right on the center. Just trim that up a little bit more. And we're gonna add a couple more glue dots just to keep my ribbon in place. So for the sentiment, I'm going to use the Happy Birthday, which is in the Sending You Thoughts. This is also a celebration item. And I'm just inking it in black. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center at the top. Now I'm going back into the Gangs All Mirror and I want to use From All of Us. Piece of paper for the inside and I'm coming back into the sending you thoughts with a great big wish for happiness I'm gonna give it a mist of my champagne shimmer mist paint that I've got mixed with rubbing alcohol I have a video that shows how I make this because this is gonna add a really pretty shimmer and shine to this card. Can you see how it is all sparkly and pretty? So here's this, the first one that I made and I want to finish it. And you guys, there's so many great sentiments in, in all different stamp sets that would work beautifully with this design. Um, country home, simply thankful for all the good things would be great. Any of these would be great. Um, our new Parisian beauty, life is a magnificent uh, adventure follow your heart it will take you to incredible places like there's just so many great ones that you can use colorful seasons life is a beautiful thing in love what you do it's a beautiful day that would be good I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use that one because I could be here a long time trying to choose a sentiment because there are just so many great ones to use with this card so I'm gonna use my Stamparatus because I want to uh, stamp this twice if I need to to make it really nice and dark. So I'm just gonna take that plate out and put a clean plate in. I know there's no green on my card, but I decided to use mossy metal because I just find um, it makes it look a little bit earthy. So let's go ahead and put that on my card. I'm not going to put ribbon on this one. I like that just like it is without the ribbon. And the one thing too, I did a couple things different on both cards. But um, you'll see that my little critters are up a little bit higher, so you can see their tails and their feet, whereas this one, I stamped them a little bit lower. So either way, it looks very, very cute. So you can also see the first one that I did. Um, I didn't sponge any of the Soul Saffron in the center of the circle like I did here, and I also didn't add as much um, pumpkin pie. So you're always going to get a different look when you're sponging, but they're all going to turn out beautiful. I'm so happy with these cards. So thank you so much to Carrie Bunting for the original inspiration for this card. And I just love how we can get so many great ideas and inspiration from uh, those of us in the stamping community. So I hope you give this a whirl. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And don't forget, it's a great technique to use with your other stamp sets, as well as this adorable The Gang's All Mirror. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I post videos at least once a week and hit the little bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video too. Have a great day. Happy stamping!